Okay, I want to say hello again. It's only me, Wushu Richard. In this video, I'm going to talk, basically talk to you. I'm kind of sweating here. I've been just doing some stretching. I'm outside in the summer heat, and I've just been actually doing some stretching. I'm going to go home soon because I'm really, really hot. But basically, what I'm going to say to you is this. With martial arts, okay, um, with working out in general, you always need to work out. With your martial arts, though, okay, what, what I like to do, okay, is because I do a lot of Wing Chun trainers, I say Wing, Wing Chun Kung Fu, okay, uh, and Yung Chun, that's a lot of my main training that I do. But it doesn't matter what you do, karate or whatever, okay. But what I'm going to say is this. One thing I like to do is when I'm walking on a quiet path like this and there's nobody around, hopefully, it might seem crazy, but I like to just, and even at home sometimes too, I'll just be walking and I'll start working my blocks and stuff. I'll just literally walk along and I'll, as I'm walking with every step, I'll be turning, just imagining the arms are here. See, I could stand here now and just, as I'm walking backwards and forwards, see? See what I'm saying? I can work these different motions here, see? And just imagine that I'm blocking against an arm here, striking the open area, taking that, bam. Working different motions in, see? Bam, bam, bam. Strike, back fist, he takes that, take his arm, boom, boom, parry the elbow, strike to the gut, grab the arm, elbow, punch to the gut here. See, I'm working all kinds of movements. Open up two hands here, come punching or whatever it's going to be, bam, see? I'm just working all kinds of movements, low block here, blocking low. Someone's trying to hit me, I cover off, see, boom, cover up high here. So work, it doesn't matter what you're doing, karate or boxing, Muay Thai, whatever, or Wing Chun, but I'm saying I'm working it all in. So. All kind of elbow from this side, bam, bam, bam. Elbow from this side, see, cover in here. Elbow on the inside, boom, boom, boom. Parry and elbow. Strike, grab that arm, elbow over the top. And I'm not going to go out really crazy and do this, but I'm saying naturally just working the movements and flowing. And as you're walking, as you're, if you're walking around, now I don't have much space on this camera to show you, but if I'm walking along, I'm always thinking about my steps. If I step back, the low kick there, as I'm walking, see, I might cover, carry that low kick, boom. He might come to hit me there, I might turn on the side to protect with my knee. He might come to hit me, I might knee in there. He might be coming to hit, he might grab me, I might grab his arm or turn into a knee or step below, see? So as he's coming, I'm working everything in, I'm opening it up there, knee strike. Grab the arm there, pull down into a knee strike, punch in the head, strike. He comes to grab me, I open up that hand, hit. So I'm thinking about all these different basic cover up movements that I can use. See, covering up here, boom, boom, boom. Fair enough, but yeah, the base is like in Wing Chun, as I say. The base, like, properly in Wing Chun when I'm doing it, usually my training, you know, I'm properly doing it, but what, and, I, and the same with any martial art you do, like boxing or whatever, but kickboxing, Krav Maga, Ninja, so it doesn't matter what you do, but I'm saying, when you know whatever you know, in your techniques, there should be natural, and moving naturally, so being able to walk along, and I could be working with these lines, I can see lines on this concrete stone path here. I might imagine that each one of these lines is like, as I said before, like a, some kind of attack line. So from either me to attack along, or that these lines are actually coming towards me. So if this line's coming here, I'd imagine I'm going to parry that to the side, see? Cover away, parry, low kick to kick, see? Block here, I might guard with my knee there, I can retire or something with my hand here. I might strike here, blocking and striking. I might block here or block high here, see? Or I might be on the side, or I might see something like a tree with some branches and I might imagine that's someone's arms I'm just imagine, okay, if that was somebody's arms there coming at me, that tree for example there I'm just imagine it, boom, blocking a low kick someone comes to hit me high up here, cover up here, bam, knee strike body shot, someone comes on this side, I carry that, hit he comes to hit me on this side, I'll, I'll block it somewhere or another strike here, see, bam, bam, work it, it's just like Wing Chun, see boom, proper when you do the training, but I'm saying working natural movement, or just being natural and fluid in your movements. So learning to, on a daily basis, wherever you are, in whatever position you might be in, standing here, see, I might step back and cover myself, protect here, strike out, see. He might come to hit my body, I would bring that elbow into cover, see. He might be up here, he might be coming, he might grab me, I do a low kick, just very naturally, see, to defend myself, you see what I'm saying? He kind of push me there, I just take his, grab his hands, step back, and kick as he's falling forward, as he comes to push me. See what I'm saying? Different basics, so whatever you know, you just work with, see, you come and hit me, I'll cover here, I can hook him there, box him, whatever it's going to be, see, blocking low, or blocking high, see, hitting here, blocking in, blocking out, see, working all the basic movements, covering with my hands there, just, as I'm walking along, just imagine, blah, 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 blah. You cover it, boom, 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 and you say, imagining is one thing, training is another, but this is a kind of training, it's a relaxed kind of 
visualisation at least, there's coordination in close quarters combat working together, it's like dancing almost, see, da, 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 with my feet and my hands, but it's like you've got that movement, you see, so maybe you actually do dancing or things like that, but you see what I'm saying, you can actually get the co coordination, how to step, how to turn with that waist, how to base yourself when you need to be, how to be covered, how to do a low elbow strike from there, see someone behind you, high, whatever it's going to be here, up to the jaw there, see, parrying, striking out, see, stepping across, parry that and strike out, so whatever it's going to be, just working all those different movements, see, covering, boom, 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 bam, working how to actually fight with your fists, your forearms, everything that's going to be in there, bam, pa grab the guy's elbow, push it to the side, hit him, bam, so we're saying, someone comes to hit you high here or touching your head, you just raise that up, hit in the, in the jaw of the, of the body, so you're working all the movements as you're moving around, and just cover him, as according as you need to be, see, someone's on the side there, I might block him in and do a psychic, somebody on the side there, I might block that off that way and do a psychic, it depends, but you see what I'm saying, you're very natural, front kick from that angle, psychic on a 45 angle, it depends on what, you see, you just work in your angles, is what I'm trying to say, and you you know, you get better and better, at your coordination of how, where to place your feet, because sometimes you'll be moving and you're in a cross, crossed up position like this and you're trying to fight over there. It don't work. You want to make sure you're in good alignment. The whole body should work. It's almost like shadow boxing in a way. So you're working in shadow boxing as well. I like to do shadow boxing with all my Kung Fu and my traditional techniques, is what I'm trying to say as well. So, so it might look funny when I'm doing all this stuff with my palms here flowing. What the hell am I doing? Like some half baked Tai Chi, Bagua, whatever. But it's like, no, I'm literally working the Kung Fu skills. And it's the same with a lot of techniques like that. even like when you do proper focus training you're really deep into your martial arts uh, as we need to be too in different occasions but when I'm saying things like circular blocking with the palms and things like this palm and strike or like you know rolling over and striking and grabbing and proper traditional you know martial arts moves you know what I'm trying to say yeah even when you say that kind of stuff you know the thing is, okay, <clears throat> when you do those moves, we can't be like so um, exaggerated always. It depends on what you're doing in what situation. If someone was grabbing me really tight there, I might wrap over see in a wing chun and do a technique like that. But I wouldn't from a mile away come up to someone and do fancy movements. You might be working your boxing or just run away. Or if someone's coming at me there, I might just dodge out the side for a punch. It would be a boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai, whatever it's going to be. If someone's coming at me, trapping my arms there, I might roll over, see, that's when that wing chun would come in, or with the palms there, whatever, see what I'm saying? You'd work things in a realistic way. But you work in a focused way, training proper drills and proper training in the martial arts, properly, and you also train in a natural way sometimes. So when you're just walking along, you can think about movements, or when you're at home, just moving, and just learn to be natural and relax, like, okay, the placement of the hands, and just make it like a habit of just covering and moving across different lines and moving with your hands okay i'm going to stop this video okay and i'll talk to you again uh soon okay thanks very much for watching just remember to focus okay on your training uh, in all all aspects of training so when you're doing your your real training and when you and when you're training um just as in just naturally at home when you're practicing every single technique when you're doing the techniques i'm saying there's focus training and then there's also relaxed type training when you're walking around and you're just doing movements you'll be walking along and you're just thinking about where to place those feet and hands so you're just being natural like that just just getting a very natural reaction element into the tray into your movement so they're like very very natural in any situation you're walking along here say turning someone from behind there strike from there so you don't really think about it i might turn this way Bam. So everything's got to come into natural. You can't only say, okay, when you do Bagua, it's Bagua proper, you know, rooted. It's got to be like natural, so you can step, step a circle, step around, see? And you've got good training. Like a lot of the forms we do, like in traditional martial arts, a lot of the forms we do in the martial arts and true traditional forms and stance work is so deep, you know, and we train it really properly. But the most important thing is you've got to remember to, to be natural. In a real life situation, subtlety can work really well sometimes, but being effective depends on the actual deep training you do but these are two elements of training so the hard and the soft you could say these are two other examples of hard and soft of yin and, yin and yang or yin yang in our training so not only is there hard and soft in the training there's also hard and soft variations of training 
that makes you not so rigid, that makes you not so soft. If you only do that kind of training, that's sort of like too soft all the time. That's not going to mean any good either. You've got to get the foundation training. If you're going to become so rigid and so hard and focused, that's not going to be either good either. You need to be able to work naturally. So when a situation comes, you can skip to the side, just cover, boom. So you're not being so robotic, you see. But in a situation where, um, you know, you need to have that strong root and proper training, proper moves, you will be really effective in that. So you've got to train it all, basically. I'll say thank you very much for watching. Train hard and stay safe. More martial arts to come always from me. Wilshire Richard Bow. Take care now. Take care. Train hard and be. Train hard and stay safe always.